Hello guys, welcome to Luna Sewing Creations. Today we're going to show you how to make a snowflower glass with mom with the hands. <laughs> Thank you to my assistant for the intro. You're welcome. So today we're going to do a uh, sunflower wine glass, guys, and I'm just uh, going to do a quick tutorial for you. If you'd like to try this at home, I've got a little stemless wine glass here and I washed it uh, well in warm soapy water to start and then after it is dried and uh, I'll take the alcohol rubbing alcohol 70% I use and you just uh, spray a little bit on a paper towel um, or you can spray it on the glass as well and then you're just gonna gently rub it and clean it. it's getting off any fingerprints residual marks that might be on there uh, you want to be nice and clean again like I say on the bottom Make sure there's no sticky stuff from the tag from the store, if it happened to have a tag on it, a price tag. And then this is just going to give the paint a nice clean surface to adhere to better. And I'm using enamel paints today. Um, these enamel paints, um, you can let them air dry the glasses when they're done for 21 days. I prefer to bake them in the oven. Um, I use the Folk Art Multi Surface or... Uh, enamels multi-surface is good for it'll say right on the label glass wood etc or the Americana gloss enamels uh, and on the cap a lot of times it'll have the little symbol of glassware so you know that it's glass paint so I like to use these paints they're uh, pretty easy to find um, I usually get mine at Michael's and uh, they stay on really well. They say that they can be. Um, they say that they can be uh, washed in the dishwasher, but I always just wash mine by hand. I just find it's better that way. Okay, so here's the paints we're going to use today, guys. Would you like to tell us uh, the colors? Gold, assistant? orange, yellow, and black. Yeah, but for the bottom, we're using black and some of that tan color. Yeah, and berry. And that's going to be the center of our flower. And I haven't, and I haven't heard the color berry. Yeah, it's like a dark, dark red. But first, I'm going to go in with a little tiny brush. And we're going to start making dots. And I believe, what do you think? I think I'm going to start with... I can fly. I believe I can fly. Do you think we're going to start with black? Yeah. What do you think? Do you remember? Of course. We're okay. going to start with black. We're going to start with black. And we're going to just start making dots. Dots, dots, dots everywhere. And it's going to look really cool, right? Of course. Yeah. So first, um, I like to go in with the black. And just make small dots all the way around. Take your time. If it's your first glass, it's art, right? So it's yours to make whatever comes out onto the glass will be perfect. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? You just keep going and dotting and dotting and dotting until you're satisfied with that bit of black. So then just take the little excess black off. You can use just a, a paper towel, a damp paper towel, just to wash the brush off. Brush off. Um, I don't generally like to soak my brushes in water as I'm using enamel paint because the enamel paint doesn't really like water. You want it to maintain its consistency and thickness. So then um, next here I'm going in with the brown. I guess it's, you could use any kind of brown. This one's a little bit more like a milk chocolate. If I had a darker brown, I probably would have used that, but I was just using what I had on hand. So again, you just go in and uh, fill in the dots, fill in the spaces. And you're gonna wanna go around, I mean, make them relatively the same size small size but it doesn't have to be uh, perfectly perfect right 
The nice thing about this pretty little sunflower glass is that it's really cool when it's finished that you're going to look into the glass and on the other side you're going to see it's going to look completely different from the bottom just the way the pattern is. So then I'll just speed this up for you guys as I'm doing the rest, right? So next I went in with the yellow and a little berry. As you're doing the dots, you can kind of go in with a circular pattern. Now, one of the things I like to try not to do is to set the glass down with the wet paint on the paper. But spoiler, spoiler alert, you're going to see that uh, in a few minutes. Uh, that's exactly what I do. But it ended up looking fine. It was already starting to dry and it just made a little kind of a cool swirl pattern. So anyway, I left it. Now, the good thing about this is if you do mess it up like that and you want to start over, just wash the glass off in warm soapy water, clean it again with alcohol, and begin again. Because it's just, it's a learning curve, right? It's a learning process. So so for the petals, I'm going to make these large, large petals. And I went in with the, a good amount of yellow on the paint. It's a medium size uh, brush. You can use a flat brush too, but I didn't have one that was suitable for this glass. So mine's just a regular round brush, but it's, uh, it's not real big. And then you just pull up from the bottom and blend in the yellow with a little bit of orange. You don't want to work the paint too much because it does dry fairly quickly. And if you go in too much and overwork it, it'll start to actually come off the glass. So then I took a uh, liner brush and I went in at the tippy tippy top and just make it a little more pointy. Again. That's a little bit too much orange for my liking. So when I ultimately go in and do the second coat on this glass, I will go over with uh, straight yellow. But just blend it in. Nice, steady, firm strokes. And yeah, just have fun with it. Um, as we go on, you'll see like each petal, it doesn't have to be perfectly uniform. And just pull the paint in, blend it till you're happy with how it looks. I think that looks pretty good for a first petal. And then I'll just show you again one more time. Go in with your yellow. And then just the tiniest bit of orange. And then make your second petal. You can make it, you can even make this one shorter. You could go shorter, then longer, then shorter, then longer. It's entirely up to you. You can make them all even. You know, that part of the design is up to you. I'm just uh, showing you basically how this design goes and it's, you know, pretty easy. And they're really, really pretty when they're done. So again, then you go in from the bottom, pull up. If you pull in a little bit of the black um, and the darker colors from the bottom of the glass, that doesn't matter actually, that looks pretty good if you end up pulling in some of that, as long as you just blend it in, you know, and then the different colors, the orange and the yellow, they're gonna all blend in to make this really, really pretty sunflower when it's all done. And see, that's where I just set the glass down. And <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but no harm done. At this point, I wasn't going to start over again, so. And then for the next one, I went back in with the 
round brush. And again, you can see in the bottom, I'm pulling in a little bit more of that darker color and just blending it up. Mind yourself not to, like I said, overwork it. Once it starts to get tacky, if you overwork it, then the paint, it will start to pull the paint off the first layer. And you don't want that because then it just starts to look messy. Okay. Again, take that tip with a liner brush and just gently blend the paint in. Try not to be a perfectionist. Note to self. I sometimes do that. <laughs> So that's how you can start to see how it's coming together and it's going to look like a sunflower when it's done. There's my mess that I made, but in the end, it didn't end up ruining the bottom. It actually made it into kind of a cool looking swirl pattern. So, and here you go for the next part. Just speed this baby up. And it's like magic. If only I could paint that fast in real life. Presto. So that's how it looks after the first coat, guys. Um, let it dry for about 24 hours um, before you go in with the second coat. And when you do, you can take a little bit of brown or the darker gold and a little bit of yellow and just pull that in and it just gives it a little more depth each petal it'll have a little bit more of a a uh, distinctive look <laughs> and don't worry about that spot. See, the center doesn't look too bad. Now, when you go in with the second coat, you can fill in everything that you think you don't like, but again, let it dry for about 24 hours before you start fooling around with it again. Um, you can leave those little gaps in the bottom, or you can fill them in completely. You know, do your best not to overwork it and overthink it. I do that sometimes. And then you're going to uh, take it, the glass, when you want to bake them, you're going to put them in a uh, cold oven at 350 or 325. It'll say on your bottle of paint what the manufacturer's recommendations are. But the important thing is it's going into a cold oven because the um, if you put it into a hot oven, the extreme difference in temperature, the glass could crack. But if you put it in a cold oven, you're good to go. So you put it in a cold oven on a uh, cookie sheet. You can put parchment paper or tin foil if you'd like. Obviously, with this one, you're going to put the uh, the drinking side down because you have paint on the top, uh, on the bottom of the glass. And then you're going to uh, set the temperature at, again, 325 or 350, whatever it says on the bottle. You're going to put it in for 30 minutes. And then when it hits 30 minutes, you're going to turn the oven off. You're going to crack the door. Sometimes I crack the door. Sometimes I don't. But just make sure you turn it off and then just leave it until it's completely cool. When it's completely cool... You can take it out. Um, then you can go over it a little bit with uh, rubbing alcohol or um, I find uh, acetone works better, nail polish remover. And, uh, you know, if you have any spots that you, you know, splotches or, you know, splatters that you got, didn't notice, you know, it'll take it right off. And then you can uh, hand wash it in warm soapy water after that and it's good to go. Again, they say they're dishwasher safe, but I don't. I always hand wash mine, and I recommend to any of my customers that um, hand washing is just best. It's going to make your glass last longer, and uh, you'll get to enjoy it longer. Um, the other thing is 
Don't ever leave it to soak in um, hot soapy water. Don't leave it to soak in water for long periods of time because that will start to lift the paint. Uh, sometimes uh, people just use these for special occasions. So uh, they'll last a long time. You know, they're a great little uh, glass to make for yourself. You know, an easy way to get started if you're wanting to learn how to uh, hand paint wine glasses for yourself or for gifts for others. Um, Oh, just real quick, guys, when I was talking about the acetone or the rubbing alcohol to clean off the glass, that's only to clean up little mistakes that you might have made. Don't get it on your design because the acetone especially will take it off. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'd like to thank my little assistant especially. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.